All right, Shalom. This is Parathum back with another lesson through the Spirit. And in this lesson, I want to get into the Most High's plan. All right, so before I begin, I want to give all praises and glory to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, by Hashem, Rechach Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone that rule well, who continue to teach us this gospel through the Spirit. All right, and Shalom to the Akim that's laboring in this gospel in truth, faith, and sincerity. All right, Shalom. So this the Most High's plan. The Most High's plan, all right, on the grand scale is to bring these other nations, all right, together so they can fight against each other. And the most there the most high will judge these other nations for what they have done to his chosen people, all right, which are the Israelites, the so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, all the Israelites, all right. We are the nation that have taken, we have taken L's, all right, and received hell from all these other nations, all right? We the nation that have been abused and misused, man, all right? We the nation that have been taken advantage of, all right, by these other nations, okay, the other heathen nation. And the Most High is going to judge these other nations for putting hell up on us, man, all right? And you can bet your bottom dollar on it because the Most High said it. And he said his word do not go out void, man. So if the Most High said it, you can go all in, man. You can make a full investment, pull all your chips in, in one bag, man, all right? Because the Most High word, let's read it. It says, Isaiah 55 and 10, for as... For as the rain cometh down, and the snow from heaven, and return not thither, but watereth the earth, and make it bring forth and bud, that it may give seed to the sower, and bring and bread to the eater, so shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void. So the Most High's word is not going to return empty-handed, man. All right? The Most High said he put his word above his name so if he said it he gonna he, he gonna make it happen all right he gonna make it happen so the word the most high's word go man all right it says but it shall accomplish that which i please and it shall prosper in the thing where i too i sent it so it's gonna be accomplished because the most high said it's pleasing and it shall prosper, all right? And the thing went to I sent it. So we're going to get into the battle of Armageddon, man. All right? The Most High is going to bring these uh, troops together. He's going to pour upon them his righteous anger, all right? So let's read um, 2 Ezra chapter 15 and verse 20. It says, Behold, said the Most High. All right, there you go. The Most High said it. Through the prophet Ezra, all right, I will call together all the kings of the earth to reverence me. So all these other nations, they're going to reverence the Most High by doing what he said do, which are from the rising of the sun, from the south, from the east, and Lebanon, to turn themselves one against another. So they're going to turn themselves against one another, meaning fight and repay the thing that they have done to them, who is them? Like as they do yet this day unto my chosen, so will I do also and recompense in their bosom, said the Lord power, all right? So the Most High is gonna pay them back for what they've done unto his chosen, which are the Israelites, man, all right? And he's gonna plead our cause, all right? Let's get a precept. Let's see. See, like, we go through hell, catching hell by these other different nations. All right, they plot against us how to keep us down. They plotted against us how to uh, keep our nationality away from us. All right? But the Most High intervened on our behalf, man. All right? The greatest power, the greatest authority, the greatest judge, all right, is... um. Is is showing favor unto us, all right, and mercy. Let's see. Cause
Let's see if I can find the precept. Yep, this is uh, Jeremiah 50 and 34. It says, their redeemer is strong. So the Most High is going to redeem us out of these bad conditions that we in, man. All right? Our re their redeemer is strong, the strongest. And Yahweh of hosts is his name. The Yahweh of hosts is the Lord of armies. And the Most High is coming with a great host. All right? He got three... <laughs> All right, we make this, you know, we say this saying the Most High has three branches of his military. He got the foot soldiers, which are the men of the Lord. The Most High is going to rise up and give spiritual power. The Most High has his air force, all right? So you have the infantry, you got the air force, which are the um, the nuclear missiles, all right? The Most High is going to use these nuclear missiles to take out these different nations, man, all right? And you got the angels, all right. He said he shall thoroughly plead their cause that he may give rest to the land and disquiet the inhabitants, the, the inhabitants of Babylon. So the Most High is coming to disquiet the inhabitants of Babylon to lay it to to put it to sleep, man. All right. Like Jake say, when they knock somebody out, they're going to put they you, you put to sleep. All right. Well, the Most High is going to put Babylon to sleep, man, which is America, all right, with with a devastating blow. All right? and, and America is never going to recover, all right? America is never going to recover from the uh, blow that, um, that the Most High is going to give unto it, all right? And this is all what? Pleading, speaking on our behalf, all right? Pleading their cause, the Israelites, all right? Because who's done the most damage to the Israelites? Babylon the Great has, which is America, man. The transatlantic slave trade, Christopher Col Christopher Columbus and his uh, motley crew coming over here to the so-called New World, all right, and in destroying our uh, brothers and our sisters. They have to pay for this, all right. And the Most High is going to make um, um, the Most High is going to make sure that they pay for it. Let's see. Let's go back. Well, let's go to uh we have BRICS nations. You have Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South America. These different nations are coming together, all right, within they're coming together and making an alliance to come against America, man. Uh come against the dollar. All right, coming against America, whole setup. All right, to establish their own thing. See, this is the, the Most High putting it in the minds of the kings, cause the Most High control these the uh, the king's mind, man. All right, let's get uh, let's see if we can get that. I haven't brought that up in a minute. Proverbs twenty two. Uh, 20, let's see, 22 and 1, 24, 1. King, all right. Let's see. Yeah, the, let's see. I forget where it's at, but it's in Proverbs. So, like you, bear with me if I can uh, find it real quick. It's a Proverbs 20. King. Right. 
Yep, this Proverbs 21 and 1. The king's heart is in the hand of Yahweh as the rivers of water. He turneth it whatsoever he will. So the Most High is putting in these um, these different rulers of these different countries' mind to come against America, all right, to fight against his ways because America is oppressing these other different nations, man, and they people, and they tired of it. And it's the Most High stirring up the minds of the kings to come up against America because the Most High determination is to what? Gather the nations, all right? Let's get that right here and let's see. Real quick, this is Zephaniah 3. Let's see. Zephaniah 3 and 8. It says, Therefore wait ye upon me, say Yahweh. And that's the Most High speaking unto the children of Israel. All right. That believe on his name. Wait for him. All right. Don't take things into your own hand. Don't lose faith. All right. Just wait on me until the day that I rise up to the prey. Because these other nations, they are the prey in the Most High's eyes. They're going to get preyed upon. The Most High said what they've done to us, he's going to do unto them. All right. Because we was the prey for a long time. Again, and they was the predators. Now the Most High is the predator. And they the prey. Alright. It says. For my determination is to gather the nations. That I may assemble. The kingdoms to pour upon them my indignation. Even all my fierce anger. For all the earth shall be devoured. With the fire of my jealousy. Alright. So the Most High is determined. He determined. When you determined to do something, all right, you working hard toward, you working hard, all right, towards getting it done, all right? So the Most High determination is to gather these nations into a simple the kingdom to pour upon them his indignation, even all my fierce anger, for all the earth shall be devoured with the fire of my jealousy. That's the nuclear missiles right there. That's how... The earth is going to be engulfed in fire, man. Now, the earth is not going to be destroyed, all right? But it will be engulfed in fire, man, all right? Let's see another precept. The Most High's plan. You see, the Most High's coming to wreak havoc, man, all right? It's not, it's not all nice things with the Most High. See, the Most High's pissed off, all right, with the current rulers of the world. Because they are bad managers and they're destroying the earth. This is uh, Revelation 16. And let's see. 16, it says, and he, and he gathered, and he gathered them together into a place called, in the Hebrew tongue, Armageddon, or Homagod one, which is mountain of uh, troops, all right? Which is in the Valley of Jehoshaphat. Let's get that. This is, let's see. Joel. Third chapter. It says, For behold, in those days and at that time, when I shall bring again the captivity of Judah, in Jerusalem, you see, the Most High is going to take our captivity away from us. And that time, the Most High, in the time that the Most High is getting, taking us out of our captivity, and that's happening now, man. That, mind, that mindset of being a captive is being taken away from Judah in Jerusalem, the northern and the southern kingdom. All right. It says, I will also gather all nations and bring them down into the Valley of Jehoshaphat. See, there you go, the, the gathering of the nations. See, the Most High always, he always um, uh, is repetitive, all right? So you so you can't forget it, all right? So you can know he ain't playing, all right? It's just the same vision given unto different prophets. It says, and we'll bring them down into the valley of Jehoshaphat. Jehoshaphat, um, the Most High's judgment. And that's over there in uh, the so-called Middle East, all right? It says, and that's why you have, it's no coincidence as well with the um, the all the all the, uh, hell and confusion and war going, over, going on over there in the Middle East 
it's no, you know, it's no coincidence that because the Most High is going to gather all them nations over there. All right, they fighting over the resources, over political and, and financial uh, mishaps. See, the Most High is doing this to fulfill His agenda. All right, see the mo see see the Most High is in control. All right, the so-called white man, the Edomites, they have their agenda. They want to chip everybody. They want everybody to be under their control. Well, they they have a god like complex. They want to be the Most High. All right. But the Most High is in control. The Most High has his agenda, all right? Like they have an agenda 21, all right? The 21st century, they want everybody to come together and be under the, under their rule, under their rule. Look, that's what the Most High is going to accomplish with the Israelites, not with the Edomites, man. Okay, it says, And will plead with them there for my people and for my heritage Israel. There you go, plead again. All right. It says, let's see. I want to look up real quick. Plead right there in that verse. Quick. It says, plead. Joel 3. Plead, shapat, judge, punish, rule, govern, judge. All right, so let's go back. It says, I will also gather all nations and bring them down into the valley of Jehoshaphat. All right, and will plead, will judge with them there for my people and for my heritage Israel. So the Most High is not going to beg them to stop. The Most High is going to judge them, man, for his heritage Israel. The scriptures say the most the, the Israel is his portion, all right, whom they have scattered among the nations and departed my land. All right. So that's the future. That's the most highest plan for the other nations. We could keep going, man. All right, our Lord Yahweh shall come in to take down and destroy, man. Regardless of all your uh your tricks and your witchcraft, you know, your sorcery that you that you uh putting upon the people. Hey, you can't out you can't outmaneuver and out trick the ultimate trickster, man. The most high is playing chess with you other nations, man. You would step behind. Okay. So Lord willingness lesson was edifying unto the elect. With that I want to say shalom.